In this presentation we're going to look at mathematical functions exercises. So the job is to complete the following table for the two functions g of x and h of x and we are given uh, some values for x, some values for g of x and some values for h of x. And what we got to do is fill out this table fully. So let's start on the uh, left hand side where x is 1. Well first off let's look at h of x. What is the cube root of uh, x? Well in this case it is going to be 1. Okay, so the cube root of x, 1 times 1 times 1, is x. Okay, but now here's a more interesting one. What uh, value, uh, what is the logarithm to the base 3 uh, of 1? And if you just recall your laws of logarithms, that value actually has to be 0. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So... 3 to the power of 0 is 1, so that means log to the base 3 of 1 equal to 0. Okay, now let's go on to the next column here. So uh, we are given the log of some value there is, uh, log to some value is, to the base 3 of some value is 1. Necessarily, that has to be equal to 1, okay? So, log to the base 3 uh, uh, of uh, the number of the number 3 is 1. Just to give you a look at that, 3 to the power of 1 is equal to 3. So, what we have here is the number 3, okay? Now, let's get the cube root of 3. Let's just express it in four decimal places. This is a little bit of calculator work. So, to, or sorry, to two decimal places. So, this is 1.44. Again, just for the sake of uh, space, let's just keep it like that. Using the same logic as we've done in the last case, uh, 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 9. Okay, so log of 9 to the base 3, that's equal to 2. Okay, so this number here has to be 9. And again, what we're going to do is find the cube root of 9 to two decimal places, 2.08. Now, moving on. Now we are given a, the cube root, and we have to find out the other two values here. So the cube root of some number is 3. So what is 3 times 3 times 3? To work the other way, 3 times 3 times 3, that's equal to 27. So this number here is 27. Now you can probably see a pattern emerging as we go about how these numbers um, uh, would relate to each other. It's like those patterns start to emerge between x and g of x. But anyway, what is the logarithm of the base tree of 27? So log to the base 3 of 27, that is equal to 3. So 3 cubed is 3. Okay. The next one is uh, pretty similar. This is going to be 4, just working the same way. We are giving the value x, what is the logarithm to the base 3 of 81, that's simply 4. And the cube root of 81, that's 4.33. Again, that's a bit of calculator work. Okay. And finally, what value do we get? When, uh, what uh, number to the base 3 would have a logarithm of 5? That is 243. Just to see that again. Log to the base 3 of 243 equals 5. Or in other words, I'll just write it over here, uh, 3 to the power of 5, that gives you 243. Okay. And what is the cube root of 243? To two decimal places, that's 6.24. Okay. So that is the exercise completed. I'll just bring it up now again with the 
proper answers there written out a bit more uh, easier to read, a bit more clear. And again, we just have to do this in places. So that ends our presentation. So it just requires a, a revision of the use of logarithms and also square roots, cube roots, uh, root uh, functions. And that ends our presentation.